this video is going to teach you how to find the mean from a table rather than um, a list of data values. We're going to be looking at discrete data and then uh, group data afterwards. So first of all, find the mean from a table that has discrete data in it. Uh, there's a table shown on the screen. The table shows how many siblings, which is brothers or sisters, uh, the pupils in a year six class had. So we've got five um, frequency of five for zero siblings, a frequency of four for one, frequency of seven for two, and a frequency of two for three siblings. Uh, it's really important if you're doing these kind of questions on finding a mean from a table that you understand why it is that the tables are showing you. So that this frequency is the number of pupils. So it's saying that five pupils don't have any brothers, brothers or sisters. Four pupils have one brother or sister. Seven pupils have two brothers or sisters. And then two pupils have three brothers or sisters. And that should help you to understand how to answer the questions, hopefully, um, as they come. So the first part, part A, says how many people were asked. Okay, so we know it's a year six class, we need to look at how many. So we've got five kids here, plus four, that makes nine, plus seven, that makes 16, and plus two makes 18. So you can write 18 pupils were asked. Part B, altogether, how many siblings are there? Okay, so well, we know that five kids didn't have any siblings so that's zero four children had one sibling so we we'll multiply that together that gives me four uh, seven pupils had two siblings so seven lots of two is 14 and then two pupils had three brothers or sisters so that gives a total number of uh, six brothers brothers or sisters so in total, there's 4 plus 14, which is 18, and then 18 add 6, which is 24 brothers or sisters. We don't know whether they're brothers or sisters, but that doesn't matter for this question. Uh, what is the mean number of siblings? Well, we know we've got 24 siblings altogether, and that's uh, between 18 um, pupils altogether in the year 6 class. So like you would normally to find the mean, you um, add everything up. So add all the brothers and sisters up and then divide by how many numbers you added. So we know that the 16 pupils gave their answers. So it's 24 siblings divided by 18 pupils. Divided by 18. That gives us 1.3. Um, as being the mean. This method will always work when you've got um, a table and you've got discrete data, that means um, where it's not grouped. Um, what you want to, well, doesn't mean when it's not grouped actually, it means when you, so this you can only have zero siblings, one sibling, two siblings, three siblings. You can't have, for example, one one and a half brothers or two and a half um, sisters. That's what it means by being discrete. So whenever you have this type of data, you can literally just multiply along each row. That gives you the total, and you divide the total by the total frequency. So if you want to remember, if you prefer to remember sort of a rules-based approach, it's the total amount so that's from this new column that you made yourself, divided by the total frequency. Okay, so what about if our data is um, grouped then? So when it's grouped, we're asked to estimate the mean. Um, and I've got here in red as well, the midpoint of each interval should be used for this. Now, it's very unlikely in the exam, well, well, it's less common in the exam, I should say, for them to tell you to do the midpoint and to tell you to do the midpoint times the frequency. That's just here for this first example to help you understand what's happening. So we've got a class interval. Um, this is actually the heights of pupils. Now, the reason it says that we're estimating the height 
is because when you've got group data, you know that there's six kids that um, had a height of between 140 and 150. You've got absolutely no idea whether all of those six were 140 or all of those six were 150 or if some were 140, some were 141, some were 143. They could be anything. So because we don't know exactly how tall each of those six pupils were, we take the most sensible guess, uh, like we do in frequency polygons, and we go for the midpoint. So the midpoint of this group here is going to be 145. The midpoint of this group is going to be 155. We've then got 165 and 175. So that's the midpoint of the group. And um, that's because we have to pick somewhere and there's no point in picking the lowest, the very lowest or the very highest because they're the extreme um, values. Now this is now very similar to what we had um, in the previous example. We know we've got six kids that we estimate have a height of around 145. 16 kids have a height of 155. 21 have a height of 165. And eight have a height of 175. So we can work out what all these are. 145 times six, 870. Then got 155 times 16. That's 2,480. We've then got 165 times by 21. That's 3,465. And then finally, we've got 175 times by 8, which gives us 1,400 or 1,400. So there's a column here, um, sorry, a row here for the totals. So just like the last example, we want the total amounts, so that's the total height. So we're adding these four values together. And we also want the total frequency. So we've got 870, 2480, 3465, and 1400. So that's 8215. And our total frequency, 6 plus 16, plus 21, plus 8. Okay, that's 51, 6, 16, 21, 8, yeah. That's 51. So to find the mean, just like last time, we take our total, 8,215, that's centimetres, that's the height. We're going to divide that between the 51 pupils that were asked. So 8,215 divided by 51. So that's 161.1 centimetres. Which makes sense as a mean because that's sort of just between or very close to the, uh, the extreme of this um, class and the extreme of this class. Um, and therefore that, that makes sense that the average height um, is, is that length. So that would be your answer. Uh, I want you to have a go now estimating the mean from this frequency table. Pause the video here and then in a few moments I'll go through the answer with you. So with this example there was no extra um, columns like we had there to remind you that you needed the midpoint but hopefully you were able to go back into the video to remind yourselves. So midpoint is what we need to find out first. We've got a class interval which goes from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So my midpoint is 3. Next one is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. My midpoint is 8. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. My midpoint is 13. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Midpoint is 18. I can see this is now going up in five, so I know that one's going to be 23. So there's the midpoint. Now I need to times the midpoint by the number of people or things that were in that group. So we have 12 lots of three, 36. 11 lots of eight, 88. 10 lots of 13, which is 130. Four lots of 18, which is going to be um, 40 plus 4 times 8 is 32, so that's 72, uh, and then we've got 3 lots of 23, which would be 69, 
so and I need to work up my totals so I've got 36 plus 88 plus 130 plus 72 plus 69 that gives me 395 the total number of things or people in the group is the total frequency so 12 plus 11 plus 10 plus 4 plus 3 that's 40 so as last time it's 395 it's our total amount divided by our total frequency and that should give me my mean which is 9.9 .9. and there's your solution